What's up everybody, this is GRBMC and um, I'm here to tell you about the new MacBook Pros that came out about two days ago. Um, I'm just going to run down a few specs and tell you what I think that Apple is trying to appeal to with the, these, new, um, these new MacBooks. So basically, here we go. The first thing I'm talking about is the display. Um, they've increased it dramatically. Um, currently, I have the older version and the display it, on mine is 1440 by 900 on these brand new MacBook Pros the sorry guys that was my droid um, these brand new MacBook Pros they have a you can add a 15 inch to the high resolution glossy I'm going to be referring to the 15 inch one because usually people like to go in the middle with these MacBooks but um, you can add the 15 inch high resolution um, display for about a hundred bucks. Um, this new one is 1680 by 1050. So it's definitely the before it was. These displays they can support. Um, they do support HD video, but this one is much higher resolution HD, and you'll be able to tell with such a great increase in pixels. Um, <clears throat> so. I suggest that if you're going to get one, it's a hundred dollars. You're already going to pay a lot for a new MacBook, so might as well add a hundred for this this greater um, this greater screen resolution. So that's about the display. Um, they the hard drive actually is better for solid state drive. Um, that's they've really increased that. Instead of 256, you can actually get a 512 gigabyte solid state drive. That's going to be a very expensive though, about 1300. Um, you can get all the statistics on this on Apple.com. So I feel like I'm not doing anything wrong by telling you pricing pricing decisions. Uh, <clears throat> and so I don't know if I would recommend you getting that solid state drive. Myself, I would basically go with the the higher RPM and just add 50, 50 bucks. So I would add fifty dollars with that higher RPM, seventy two hundred instead of fifty four hundred. That just means that your computer can run fast programs faster because its hard drive is processing things at a faster speed. Um, Extra things I would add that the hard drive that's probably the last bit I'd add those two, two things really. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go and talk about the big thing that they've added, which is the graphics card, graphics card and the mem and the um, processor. The processor is the new Intel Core i7 s and i5 s. They're much faster. Um, Apple says about 50% faster, and um, and whatever your computer's computing speed is currently. So, uh, so that's a good um, buy right there. I will get with the 2.53 gigahertz myself. The graphics and video support uh, that they're having the NVIDIA GT 330M brand new graphics card, higher graphics, and it's going to be it's going to be able to play games like it's going to be able to play games like a PC or something like that if they had as many games as a PC but you can just run boot camp and you can start playing games um they say that you don't have to boot up with this new when you switch graphics card over the like the computer will automatically switch over when you do it or if the game demands that it needs better graphics um, battery life has increased from seven hours to eight to nine hours so they've made this computer much more efficient um, and so therefore it's probably not even going to get as hot <coughs> um, so that's really good it's going to last you the entire day you don't have to worry about bringing your charger or anything like that it's much better computer life than PC computers. I, when I'm in class recording, taking notes, I'm doing all of that. I, I may not even get down to half, um, and I don't even have the new ones. So, that's just me. 
uh, a little rundown on what they're trying to appeal to. I think they're trying to appeal to gamers, of course, because they have this new and faster memory card, better graphics card. Um, computing power increases around every eight months, so just know when you get this, about maybe half a year afterward or something like that, something's better better is going to come out. Um, that is just how it goes. Um, if you can wait another year, just do it. I mean, something better will probably be out, statistically speaking. But right now, these are good computers. Get one if you want one. If you just can't wait for a Mac and you must have a Mac, please pick it up. Um, there are games out there for the Mac. The people that make um, the Orange Box, Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Portal, all those pe those people are still ma are making games for Mac too. Not exclusively for Mac, but they are making it to be able to run on a Mac. So you can get Half-Life 2, you can get Portal, you can get the Orange Box. Those will run on Macs. Um, download those from the websites. It's probably the best bet. I don't know how many stores carry them. You can get... <coughs> You can get Prince of Persia, the newest one. You can get the Two Thrones. Both of those will run on Mac, so it'll probably run fat better on the higher graphics, on the better graphics card on the newest Macs that just came out. They'll probably run much fat, much better ones. Um, if you if you want a PC game, you're like, oh man, I need a PC because they can only play games. Just boot camp. Uh, you can boot camp and can run Windows 7, which takes up 20 gigs of hard drive space when you do boot camp. So make sure you like partition like 50, 50 gigs or 80 or something like that. Um, or you could get Windows XP, which runs maybe one gig on your hard drive space when you do boot camp. That's just me. I put I boot camp and did Windows XP. And it runs well. It still has, you know, Windows problems because Windows, you're actually running Windows. So don't expect it to be extra great because you're running it on a Mac or something. Um, but besides that, nothing else has really changed about these computers. They've changed it. They kept the design the same. They um, kept the unibody. They kept the backlit keyboard. Nothing has changed. But I'm telling you, if you want to get these computers, pick them up. It's a very good choice if you really need a new computer. If you can wait and you live in a state that supports this, wait for tax-free weekend. It is, it's basically my technology holiday. Um, if you get a new computer, it is going to take off maybe $200 of a Mac. I'm doing a Mac. And who doesn't want to save 200 bucks, right? So, if you can wait, wait till then. If you can't pick and you've got a lot of money to spend right now, just pick one up. I mean, it's a good computer. I suggest getting one from online because you can customize it the way you want. But that's all for right now. That's all I can say for these computers. Um, overall, I think that it's going to be it's a great, great um, upgrade. So pick it up if you want it please subscribe like this video like this video I'm not really sure I subscribe subscribe button somewhere up there but um, just like this video if you want and um, just tune in for more stuff by GRBMC and this is me signing off peace